friends here another problem on based on variable mass chain type of problem is there we have discussed about chain type of problem earlier also let this let's read the question what is saying that and what are data are given we'll check first that this figure this one this shows a card that carries a pile of open link chain the open link chain of mass per unit length rho and this uh, this is a mass per unit rho and the chain can pass freely through a hole in the card and is brought to rest by the link by the tension t in the portion of the chain resting on the ground and fixed at end a so at this end a it is fixed the tension some tension is there so as the chain is coming down chain will come to rest as it the link the link of the chain come to the ground and fixed at its end a the constant force p this is a constant force p that is being applied on this so and uh, moves the cart and the initial mass and velocity at x equal to 0 are m not and v not one is the mass is given m not and velocity is given v not at t is equal to 0 question is asking to determine the expression for acceleration and the velocity of the cart at any time t or uh, when it has x this length of the chain has come down this is the question is saying okay so let's solve this problem we can solve very easily so what to do is that the initial mass is m not and right now x length has come to the ground when x has come to ground so how much mass will be there on the cart m not minus rho x because the rho is given the mass per unit length so at any time t mass is equal to m not minus rho x this mass is there now what will happen there is a thrust will be there see this is link there this is a link there okay so this link as soon as it comes it was this link was moving with the velocity v and all these links are at rest so it exerted and force on this but what will happen this link to this link that can slide like this because links are not rigidly attached so this link may be here this can go, come to this position so this force will not be communicated to the remaining system the card system the force will not be communicated though do thrust is there while we will draw the free will diagram only the chain whatever chains are there with the cart is there on this only force is the p force is acting so only p force is acting and mass is m then we can write the f p is equal to m a but a is equal to p by m but what is m m is equal to m not minus rho x so first question is saying that what is the acceleration of the pulley so p a is equal to p minus p by m not minus rho x now second we have to find out the velocity of this so we got that a is equal to p by m not minus rho x so we can write a is equal to dv by dx because x is the displacement of the cart p by m not minus rho x okay so we can write the equation dv is equal to p 1 by m not minus rho x into dx now we can integrate both the sides what integrate initially when x was 0 the question is the velocity was the card was v not when x length distance displacement is there x length of chain is there what will be the velocity and uh, uh, we know this equal to v dv by dx so here i'll erase little bit and i can calculate this one as the v dv integration from v not to v v dv by dx we get so integration of this left hand side v square by 2 we know so we get the v square by 2 from limit from v not to v and integration of this will be m not by ln of this divided by differential of this so minus rho and ln m not minus rho x and what to what 0 to x so this become your equation v square minus v not square i have taken two to this side so i got 2 p by rho this minus i will absorb here so i'll not put the upper limit first like later on first lower limit first i'll put so the minus will be absorbed here so ln 
एम नॉट बाई एम नॉट माइनस रो इन टू एक्स सो वी वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वी नॉट स्क्वायर माइ प्लस टू पी बाय रो एल एम एम नॉट बाय एम नॉट माइनस रो एक्स and this is the v node there so suppose you want to get the v i have to calculate then i have to do the square root of this i have to then then what will come my row this will be as an erase this one then i will the v will be there okay v is equal to under root of the value is this much so what you got the v is equal to this much let's check calculate check the answers what the answers is so we'll go to the next page to check the answer so let's check the answer one is the x is equal to p by m not minus rho x let's check what the answer we got a is equal to p by m not minus rho x and second we got the v is equal to v not square plus 2p by rho ln m not by m not minus rho x let's check what we have got v not square plus 2p by rho ln m not by that is so both the answers this is also correct this is also correct